A. This begins the big trek, which is the second island, which is, yeah, it's okay, it kind of ramps up halfway through. Now, the top of this waterfall, there's a boss fight. Because this game just sprinkles in boss fights. It has no logic. You think, oh, beginning, maybe halfway through the, like, the first level. Nah. For some reason, these. Uh, the beginning of every like river level but you never spawn on them they're just here it's weird again just a very visually arresting like bright colors really like nice design uh very like well-realized environments. He did quite well. You gotta remember the first Crash game came out like fairly early in the game cycle, uh, the console cycle. So a lot of people didn't really know how to run stuff yet. It was quite early and then it was year after year. Like this came out in what, 96? Two came out in 97? Three came out in 98? And then they said, fuck it, we don't want to do it anymore. And they said, make a car race of us. Fine, that's still Naughty Dog making all of those games. And then they just go, we ain't doing it anymore. <laughs> and they just sell the IP to someone else. Um, because uh, I'm pretty sure... Ooh, um, Pretty sure Crash Bash is not actually a um, Naughty Dog game. I'm pretty sure. But don't hold me on that. Yeah, this game likes to do this shit to you. I can't remember what that does, but I'm sure it's important. Look at this fish. This fish is on beat. Look at this beat fish! Haha. <laughs> Told me a lot about music as well. Like, first of all, the theme music doesn't have to just be kind of pretty, like, dull or just reiterations of the same theme over and over. It can be uh, pretty interesting. But also, like, everything is timed to a set of beats that you can visually see, really, in this game. It's not. Fun. That's what <laughs> um, I'm just drowning myself for no real reason. Just wait five seconds. Stop it, you idiot! You're killing him! Ah, now those uh, fronds at the bottom there are gone. Is there like a death route down there that I completely forgot about? Oh yeah, it's trying to tell me to go back, okay. No. <laughs> if you think going forwards when you're supposed to be going forwards in a crash game is bad, going forwards towards the camera when you're not supposed to be is even worse. It's fish. Fucking fish. We got teeth. Watch this kill me. Oh, we did it. Yeah, man. I love Crash Bandicoot, and I'm one of those guys that's like, I understand if you don't like Crash Bandicoot, because it's just unfair levels of bullshit like this, which I fuck myself. I don't even care anymore. <laughs> just want the wumps. want to try and... No? Okay. No bueno. Yeah, it's just, you know, um, I'm one of those kind of guys who came from this generation and then everyone's like playing Uncharted and like, I played Uncharted 3, there's one puzzle in that game and within the first second, 10 seconds of you entering the room, 
before you can even work out what's on the floor. It's like, do you want to skip this puzzle? Hold up on the D-pad now to skip this puzzle. I know you don't want to do this puzzle. Who gives a fuck about puzzles? Am I right? And you're like, that was the worst it ever got for me personally, where I was sat there like, are you kidding me? At least let me look at the puzzle and run around a bit. Yeah, literally, do you want to, do you want to, like, no one wants to play this puzzle, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, it, you don't want it to be hard at any point. Because Uncharted is never hard. It never gets hard. You're going through the whole game and it's scripted parkour. Oh, I fucked that up. That you can't fail, and if you do fail, it's literally, oh, I threw myself off the cliff and it's just respawned me to exactly where I was before. Like, you, there are no stakes. Every gunfight feels like you're not taking any damage. Oh, I did it again! You, you get some momentum going, you just think jump, 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 and it's actually the wrong answer. See, that's horrible timing. This is even worse timing. Oh, a divot. You missed some box. Buy box. This won't be a 100% playthrough. I don't like getting all the boxes in her. Back in the day, back in my day, you, if you died, that was it. It's like, oh well, because they didn't have a way of keeping tabs on how many boxes you opened. All the boxes would respawn every time. Things that never made a return, which I'm sad they never made a return. Big TNT. Unnecessary. Well, it is for this. You have to use it to kill the boss. But like, because he, he hops in a pattern. First, it's a triangle. <laughs> that I jumped in the path of. First, it's this simple triangle. Just back and forth, back and forth. Then it gets into a diamond shape at the end. But before, it's a reverse triangle. Why isn't he making any noise? He's just going, <laughs> Oh yeah, sorry. Is that a poor depiction of the mentally ill? Says the... Says the game that's allowing fat Pacific Islanders who are racist characters to exist. Hey! What's the haps, Happy Snaps? Okay, we're just waiting for this TNT to float down because I'm too lazy to do the game. <sighs> wow. I died, babe. Because I'm dumb. I'm big dumb. You can just do this. You can just do this. Why am I not doing this? Whoa. Because you jump bad luck. This is not going to do anything. But you gotta try it, you gotta try it. He starts doing some more elaborate things, but like, basically the pattern is this. Oh, there, there's a sound clip. And now it's diamond. And they give you loads of TNTs to mess with. So you can just repeatedly detonate them at the wrong time. I might have him. Oh, just. I like big TNTs. They never came back. Oh, poor Ripperoo. I liked Ripperoo. I thought he was a nice character. <coughs> Although, you know, he does fit the thing quite well. He's like, Crash is red, Ripperoo's blue, so it's good color theming there. You know, that kind of stuff. The Lost City. Oh, yeah, here's the first... Yeah, I really love this style. They did a really good style with this. It's like... It's like at night... Oh. Oh, yeah, you, still, oh you can't still do that. Okay. Do it this way. Uh, the 
time of day is really cool that they're using the ruins. There's a lot of ruins and you're like, oh, that's really cool. I love ruins and like the overgrown look. And they're like stone inscriptions and art and stuff. I don't know what they really did with the water here. It looks very weird, but like, it sure used to be darker than that. And there's bats. There's bats. Notice in this game, they're literally just animals. They're not actually like cybernetic animals or like they seem in any way altered really. They're just bats, skunks. Weird Venus flytraps, but just, you know, I don't even know what that's about. Oh no, I can't get the death token. guys can break you and I'm handling them the wrong way. Please, please die. That bat's like their general. He tells them it's safe to go, so if you get rid of them, they will never come down. See the mask, man. If you hit them when their horn is facing you, those lizards, they make you bounce backwards. Ah, oh, what else? There's these jumping lizards. Again, they're just animals. They're just animals living out their daily lives and crashes, walking into them and they're like, hey, and jumping at him and it kills them. It kills him if they touch him and he's like, no, you forfeit your life privileges, sir because you're in my way and defending your territory that you've probably had for, if these ruins have been here a while, a long time. Hitting that switch box down there unlocks the box that was like hashed out down below. So if you wanted to get the Brio token, you could do that. And again, the sounds, the sound design is really on point. These guys are a bit more aggressive when they jump forwards. The other guys just jump on that kind of... And it also triggers these, I think. I think. I can't remember. These trick everyone the first time. It's a very clever design. There's just a lot going on here. Like, the sky boxes. They've obviously done a lot of touching up. Oh, yeah, you do jump over here. Oh, yeah, I can't jump because I'm an idiot. Oh, hello friend. There's just a lot going on here which is really nice. That you're like, oh that's really cool, I'm glad they did that. You know, like, they really add depth and like, an interesting design. And then obviously with the walkroom games it felt like they were being told a lot more. Just get them done on a budget and fast, quick, 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 quick. Because a lot of this world building just disappears after the first game, and while that's there's still some cool stuff showing a, a world that you, you can just cheese this out by just jumping back in. They don't stay out long enough a lot of the time that you can't do that. See, he jumps backwards. The other guy jumps forwards. Two different clans, two different ways of living. Is still every box about dying that tooltip said. And they just threw boxes as well at you. That's like like here's a wall of boxes that's like screen covering like this and things. It was just like and the box bridge, like I said, a firm favourite of the people of this time, and it really does vanish around two, is unnecessary bullshit box bridging. And then it just came back really hard for uh crash free in some areas, mostly just the uh, bonus rounds, but it was mostly just to show, look, we, you remember this? Yeah, we gave you abilities now, which trivialize them, like the super spin and the bazooka, 
it feels like it was like put there to say, look, yeah, I know this is bullshit, wasn't it? But at least now you can deal with it without having to you know, actually deal with it. These get way harder because you notice there's always a level to introduce the new chart tile set and the new theme and the new kind of traps that are likely to come along. And then it goes, and here's another one. And they always came in twos. That's why it was kind of obvious that, like, Slippery Climb... Well, I say obvious. The lab doesn't have a secondary. I don't know what I was planning there. I was trying to get the switch there. <coughs> Some levels blissfully do not have a secondary because the first one was hard enough. I mean, Generator Room wasn't too bad, but, like... See, you spin them when they're facing you, you bounce off. That was a, to show that, obviously. Um, don't know why that horn has magical deflective powers, but it does, so... Yeah. you don't want to go get them, it just cr cr cracks them for you, because it's like, we know this is dumb, and a lot of background foreground shit, so, just get the one plus zero anyway. Oh no, just this level is every box about dying, because then you get the magic colored gem or something, I don't know. Really? Oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Let me check. Ah, oh, yes, see, it's color gem. Temple runes. I like temple runes. I'm not good at temple runes. I like temple runes. This depth perception shit here. And they never used to do this double thing. They used to just go in and out, in and out, in and out. They made it like very hard. Just like it's a very awkward kind of... You can either go front to back as your flow, or left to right, or right to left, like, with platformers. If you try and start doing a lot of 3D platforms, you definitely can't put traps that are, like, got two pillars involved in them that are going to block the camera view for too long, because it just becomes a problem. Oh. Oh. It's okay, I made it. I don't know how those... I just don't get how some of these platforms are working. Like, who's making them go up and down? They're just doing it naturally? Why are some just floating in the air and if I touch them, they fall down? What's holding them up in the first place? Also, look at these sick hands holding big um, pots of flaming lanterns and shit. Who's maintenancing those? Are they being maintenanced? Probably not, right? Is a return of bats, because bats love temples. Ooh. They stop after a while, because it knows. Hey, we know we introduced an enemy that pops out of nowhere. That's a, a snake earlier that comes out of a hole in the ground. Is also a spider that pretty much fulfills the same niche. And it's just like, there's a lot of stuff where you're like, they didn't have to do that, but I'm kind of glad they did, you know? And notice that, like, all of these ruins are not cortex. They're not, they're just random visages that aren't anything. They're, like, lizard people, or, like, weird, like, oh, well, that, I messed up the death on that. I also could have used that time to not get killed. See, they're just, like, weird, like, mask-like figures, and, like, there's a lot of this feeling of, like, well, what is this? Who made these things? Because it wasn't Cortex. Cortex just shows up on the third island and goes, yo, I put my base here, and it was kind of an analogy for, like, look, pollution, fucking up the local environment. Probably good that you're getting rid of him. Bit of a dick, really. 
Like, oh yeah, I guess so. Oh. Oh fuck. There's also a hidden box bridge there, because you know, if there's anything worse than a box bridge, it's an invisible box bridge just put there to troll people. Oh my god. Just 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 prove something. Oh no. There we go, see? I'm not doing it though, fuck that. I forget where there's holes in my basin. Ooh. Yeah, like there's a lot of like stuff that you're like, this would have been hidden lore in a modern video game context, like who are the people who made the temples in the Crash games, like all of this stuff would be stuff that, you know, back then would just be like, oh, who gives a shit, it's just a temple. Now it's like, but look at all of the design, and you know the video game designers would have put it in, and then it would have been later like, for extra content for people to obsess over and write like, their fan theories about, and they would be like, I think, you know, like the whole Five Nights at Freddy's stuff, where it's just like, I pressed X and that didn't read for some reason, so that's cool. You notice we've gone front to back, back to front, front to back, here we go, here we go, we're going to be a white trash millionaire. <laughs> like, we're just going in every direction here. And this, who invents this? You know what I want? I do want the flaming hand thing in my house, but I don't really need this. This just feels excessive and annoying. still bats to catch you off guard. Where they're coming from, I don't know. Ooh. Yeah, like, you know, nowadays it would be like people going, who's carving Crash's face on the wall? Who are these people? It's not Papu Papu's people. These places are a Deserted? Who are they? Oh, the first one's called Road to Nowhere. Then it's the boulder. Direct attacks don't hurt the hogs. Yeah, they just put hogs on a bridge for some reason. Danga! Danga! Someone needs to fix this bridge. <laughs> Let's just be real. Really nice visual design again, but like the second level, you're just like, nah, <laughs> after a while. This is enough. You didn't need to keep making these. One's fine. I'll take less content, please. Like, straight up, I'll take less content than having to deal with another one of these. Pigos. I don't know how they're not falling in the hole. Apparently pigs have better grip than a marsupial with opposable thumbs, so you know, take that in. And yeah, there's that I don't know if they've made the ropes like non-collision based now, but before you could just stand on the ropes and just walk through <laughs> on the ropes. Oh, you all saw I had that and then it pushed me off kind of, but I just slept because I Oh, yeah. Oh, I was certain that had me. That pig. I thought I'd been pigs. Let's just be real. This bridge should just be out of commission and there should be some sort of like replacement pig service. Look at that pig. He's so happy with himself. Very hard dealing with those pigs. 
fun fact about Cooney Cooney pigs, you can keep, train them like dogs. You can get them to fetch things for you and stuff. They're pretty cute, actually. I always wanted a pet pig, but I don't think my cat would enjoy that anymore, so I now have a cat, so... Cat is life. He's a good boy. Pain in the ass, so... You know it! <laughs> What? I'll stop in a minute. I haven't LP'd in like weeks, and he, the moment I start LP'ing, he's like, Why are you doing that? And starts complaining and distracting me, and it's just like, Can you not be the needy, like, annoying wife of this relationship? Look at me! Stop doing that! I want to watch my soaps, but get me more handbags! I want to get you a handbag, cat. Don't need one. Make me die. Is this what you want? Marriage is on the rocks. <laughs> Feels like divorces could happen because of the Crash Bandicoot game, to be honest, because this it's just, why would you do this? Why are some frozen but others not? It's like they're all made out of different timbers. Oh yeah, the mask will help from the one hit kill hole. I can do this. We can do this. We may be able to do this. But then it just turns into ice, one hit break, ice, one hit break, ice, one hit break. Pig! <laughs> ice, one big break. Oh, you. Tona, why you do this to me? Why are you playing me this way? Oh my god. <gasps> I'm so mad. <laughs> this game. This game. I hate this game. But I love this game. But I hate this game. I was on that and it just slid me off the edge. Like, nah, you're not on it. Fuck you. Trolly ass horse shit. Doesn't feel fair. It doesn't feel fair. I know what you're doing, Pinkly. We're gonna beat this island. We are. We're really not. If I can do this one, I'll do the boulder one and then stop there. I see you. Can you not? <laughs> Trying to jump on the laptop. And for some reason, it's just stopped giving me the masks. Wait, did it just. Did it just locate me further forward? Because it felt bad for me. It feels like it moved me forward because it felt bad for me. It moved me forward, didn't it? I look away for five seconds. <laughs> yeah, I use that rope tech. Use that fucking rope tech. Yeah. Please. Please. For f Why would you put a pole there? Why would you put a pole there? Answer me, pig. This You're the architect. No, I'm not doing this bonus right now. Fuck you. I don't care. I really need the checkpoint. Like third, fourth time lucky, right? Oh, they're called high altitude hogs. I love that. That makes up for the infinite rage. Yeah, games got a lot easier, and like, I'm in this... Okay, that's... Oh, you were shitting me! Please just do the bonus round, it doesn't even matter. <sighs> what was I saying? Let's just get to the end of this. 
and my tall man. First island, oh yeah, it's okay. Native fortress is a bit hard, I guess. Second island. Why? <laughs> like, why would you make... Why? <laughs> lot of game overs here. lot of game overs. Dude. Oh! What was that shallow-ass jump? You get the checkpoint. Oh my god. Fuck the depth perception of this game. It's so shallow. It's so shallow and weak, the jumping. It is so shallow and weak. Can you just... You can see the little halo they put where he's gonna land, and it's actually ahead of where he's supposed to be. Watch the blue... Watch the halo. Look after. And before, it gave you a degree of, like... It gave you a degree of like leniency on where you turn the turtle over. Now it's like, now if it's not on like him floating over the edge, well then it's not gonna count. Fuck off. They really weakened crashes like jumping and it's bullshit. You can't skip that one. Why do I keep trying to skip that one? Please just make the suffering end. Jesus. Can we just get to the end of this? No, apparently not. Fuck me, I guess. I didn't press X before jumping on the turtle. Therefore, I do not get the big jump. Fuck me. Please. Just be a little lenient with the jumping. Never this bad. They made it harder in some cases. And it's bullshit. Yeah, I missed some boxes. What do you fucking expect? <laughs> oh, I hate that. That one's the. That one's not. That's a bad touch. Oh, we're actually near the end of the island. It's only been half an hour, so you can get through them, even massacring a hundred bandicoots, keeping which whoever supplies crash and deep genes in production forever. I assume he just gets new clothes every time he dies, and they have to manufacture new ones rather than retrieve them from the old Crash's corpse. That's a bit morbid. I'm just proving something, aren't I? Oh look, I can do the boulder levels fine, basically. I don't really have that much trouble with those. It's the, the ones, the other ones. And then you know some guy on the internet's going, well, it's because you're sitting there, there, there. If you've got a problem with this level, you're clearly not much better. Oh, this isn't fair. This isn't fair. You want to talk about pixel perfect things with shitty fucking graphics and pretty bad handling of the character uh, and his like frames and shit, his movement properties. No, this is where it went wrong. This is the bad touch. It's the only ones I can fucking do without dying repeatedly. Although my hand's getting slippy and it's falling off the stick. I have to change the grip. I have to change the grip. Please let me have a break. Oh. Please give Crash a Yari Yari Daze. <laughs> Crash Jotaro. What would Crash's stand be? There you go. Dasta. Didn't die though. Or did I die? I can't even remember now. It's just like my memory of Crash is just. Yeah, we died a fuck ton. <laughs> Good job Crash doesn't have much of a brain. He takes a lot of crates to the head. Sunset Vista's like harder Lost City. Then we just, you see there, that's another boss after that, so then that's the end of this island. I've nearly beaten, like, if I get to the end of this island, that's two-thirds of the game, by the way. There's a lot of harder levels, and it really extends the playtime. Post this. This is hard enough as it is, but, like, I mean, post 
world two, it becomes way harder. There we go, there's one plus. There we go, there's lives back as well. Yeah, I often find that the runtime for the uh, third island yeah, becomes much longer than just about half an hour per island. You can, if you're pretty good, do it in about half an hour. How am I not dead? Yeah, why am I sitting here dealing with this poor timing shit? Let's go. Let's -a go. Let's drown. Bye bye Mario. Yeah, no, um. The reason Crash is like redeemable is mostly, yeah, like I keep saying, great sound design, great music, great, um, just great everything and a lot of stuff. I feel like it put me forward again. I feel like it's helping me and I'm just not realizing. Yeah, it, it does a lot of stuff that you're like, oh, okay, that's pretty neat. I'm glad that they did that, you know? And uh, that's the reason you still play it, because it's like, oh, oh, it nearly got me there. <laughs> Just hack our way through the game. Four hacks. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that stays out longer than I anticipated. Uh, yeah, um, what was I saying? Yeah, if, if this game was, like, really boring, like, I think the thing is, like, the effort was put in, in scenery building, character design, like, everything, that it basically saved the game, because the difficulty, it was back when people weren't like, oh yeah, I'm elite, you know, games were harder in general, but it wasn't like people were like, oh yeah, I'm elite, this game is really hard, I'll bet you guys can't beat it, well, like, I was also quite young, so I didn't really know anyone who was like, oh, you wouldn't be able to play this, it's just too hard being like this weird obsessive about it. Okay, I got my food. <laughs> I'm on fire. I was itching my face. They start showing you patterns like this and you're just like, oh, oh no. Yeah, that, that, what was I saying? Like, if this game had, like, had lazy or poor graphics, like Bubsy 3D graphics or um, Superman 64 graphics, and, like, very little in the environment, and it was still this hard, it would probably have done terribly. Like, you know, and if it had boring music that was just kind of farty or kind of irritating, you know, kind of like, oh, I'm barely making an effort with the sound design. Oh, no. Just fell to my death. Oh, where am I? Oh, no. This is miles from where I was. Oh. Bitch. The rocks are my bitch.
but it might be these rotating platforms. Oh, that's a loose one. Okay. I thought I could press there. Just have to do it. These cortex guys come up. Yeah, we're not doing that. <laughs> Ooh. Very close to bats. This just becomes a nightmare because it's fire, then bats, then fire, then bats. Yeah, um. If the game was hard, and it's, yeah, like, what well, duh, if the game had no redeeming features whatsoever, and it was still as hard as it is, oh, um, yeah, like, Crash would have flopped, but there's no way they would have been able to save it, especially in the era of, like, forgettable, uh, oh, blah, 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 lots of forgettable mascots for everything, where everything had a mascot for no real reason other than, oh, well, you know, maybe this thing will sell better if we have a dumb, cuddly mascot that's kind of in your face and annoying. I mean, it even had the annoyed for, like, pizzas and, like, all of that stuff. Was that Domino's annoyed? It wasn't Pizza Hut, that was for sure. Or was it? I, I can't remember. Everything had to have an in-your-face mascot that was actually really irritating and drove it run off of the wall. That was just the rules, for some reason. That was what was in... 90s was a weird place, man. There's a pattern that I'm ignoring because I'm too lazy to <laughs> like, learn it. I'm just brute forcing it and it's not working. Oh, I just fucked it up again. Oh. Uh, that's on me. Please stop killing yourself. Plus. I thought I saw something. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I want to play Spyro again, because honestly, I played them uh, on my PS3 again. Uh, um, the unremastered ones, obviously. Uh, and they didn't age well. I was always like, these were always really great. And actually, like, Hunter's head was just, like, zippy, where it was just, like, a horrific, like, flat pancake that could open in half and split in half, and that was his mouth. And it was just horrendous. Did they change it? Oh, no. This one's the pan. Uh, they've got some sort of thing going on that I can clearly see, but I'm just too lazy in the brain nowadays to. I know it's like you have to follow it. Oh, well, fuck me, I guess. Oh. Rude. Bumpers. Did it wrong again. <sighs> Can't even pop it now. Oh god damn it. Let's get this over with. Yeah, um nineties was weird, man.
I love how like Nintendo fanboys though they act like Crash is like the worst thing to have ever existed, and they're like, I don't even get how people can like this. I mean, who is this for? And they get all shitty about it. It's like it's serviceable. It's a hell of a lot better than a lot of fucking mascots that came out where you're just like, see what I mean? Like I know what I've got to do here. It's this, <laughs> like, but I'm just too lazy to bother to. Oh, I was expecting those to pull out. In like a rhythm, I mean, not just when I stand on them. I got two of everything. Awesome. Not sure, wish that was a checkpoint right about now. Because this. Okay, where's the... There you go. Oh no! <laughs> but we can try it too, so I can show you, right? Wait. 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 Bonus round. I live. I live. And I missed a box somehow. I think he gave me a key. So I get to the end of the level now. That was, somehow I survived that. Well, there you go. Now this should act as a checkpoint. Just like the tournament levels. Ah. Oh. Okay. So where's your spawn point? I mean teleport point, whatever. Oh, it's up here. Just getting all the bonus levels. Like, get me, I'm not even really focusing on this completion. Oh, this is running long. Maybe an hour, I reckon, by the end of this. So you can see how it like expands pretty quickly because it's like I started Sunset Vista at half past on this, or like half an hour in, about thirty-two minutes in, and it's now like been forty-eight minutes. So it's like one level that's particularly hard or long-winded. This is like a fifteen-minute level normally if you're trying to do everything in it. And, um, yeah, oh, uh, yeah, it's not easy either, oh, oh, okay, I'll just, I'll just perish, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, one, one level they just decided to keep going and keep going, and some of the levels they just it feels harder because they made the runtime of the level really long for some reason. Oh, well, at least I landed here. Yeah, by having some intense platforming, but also by just having really long levels that are like 10, 20 minutes long, that are just back-to-back -back platform, quite intense platforming, and platforming, platforming, and then more platforming, and you're like, oh, <laughs> I didn't expect it this much. I can't do this one! It's driving me insane. Fucking do it. Please, please, let the, the nightmare end. Oh, okay. No. 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 
Yes. No. Fuck off. It's always that one. It's like you gotta stand right on the edge and you've got to backflip onto it whilst pressing down the X button like you want to destroy your controller. Damn it. Please. No. Not even this now. Am I not worthy? God damn you! Hands are sweaty. It's making it worse. Wow. They got like the weird monster faces, and I'm like, what are they? One looks kind of like nitrous oxide. Oh, nitrous oxide, but like, um, I'm wondering, like, are they supposed to reference something? I feel like, you know, they should reference something on this. Oh, you are fucking kidding me. Oh, sorry, that was too short. Uh, too short. We nerfed his jump. Uh. Yeah. Make reverse program. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. I hate these things more than anything where they're like, just fall to the bottom. You've done five minutes of climbing. Back to the bottom you go. <laughs> That's just it's just frustrating, it's not fun. I hate that shit. I hate this shit. Where they just keep making you run on the hamster wheel until it decides that it will line up. And then fuck you again. Fine. Spawn me back up to where I was. So apparently I had one shot of this and then you fucked me. I got good timing so that doesn't matter. And these ones at the top are just ass normally because it's the fucking lizard. The fucking lizard, man. Oh, this one's okay. There's none of those weird bridges or bats or anything. One of the longest levels in Crash history, as well, I think. Rats. Rats. We still got one more level. Yeah, we do. Look, it's Koala Kong. He never came back in anything other than the remaster. Why does he shake his ass like that? It's so weird. <laughs> okay. That's faster than I remember, and he's very quick at, like... Oh look, here's a rock bomb. <laughs> He's just like, ah. Okay, I'm getting into it. Oh, and there's a big rock. And the minecarts can get in the way and stop you from hitting his pecs or something. I liked Koala Kong, and I was always like, why did he never come back? Did he? Did someone get offended by him and like were like, gonna sue for likeness? Because who is he supposed to be emulating? Schwarzenegger or every bodybuilder ever? Oh, you little... Okay, we've got one more. He just straight up gets replaced by Tiny Tiger. It's like they had a. They decided that a Tiny Tiger was a more interesting idea, and then they were just like, fuck you, it's Tiny Tiger now. Straight up like the same. He got hit by the. <laughs> anyway. He's dead! He's not dead. Oh, bye. Those animations are kind of new. Koala Conked. Oh, that was 54 minutes. It's going to be horrible to edit. Look, it's the new one. Look, it's some somehow they got rid of all of the toxic sludge. Hey, guys. 
your friendly capitalist society to remind you that dumping waste into the water will not affect the ocean. Thanks, everyone. Continue to buy our products and ignore the fact that we're destroying your planet for you. This is, you can see, it's a huge, the amount of red dots. This one just takes way longer. So, we're going to save. We're going to stop them here. Because it's like 11, I should stop. Will I?